My name is Sebastian Rodeville, and I'm a C456 recovering quadriplegic. I was born in Chad's Ford PA. We own greenhouses. We had to plant all the flowers. Christmas time, we sell Christmas trees. Easter time, we were planting bulbs, which we got from our family, which is located in Holland. It's a full year job. When I first got into high school, I was still very athletic. In the summertime, always at the beach, always in the water, always doing physical activities. On the day of March 31st, 2000, I was hanging out with a bunch of friends like we usually did. It was a Saturday and we were on my buddy's porch, which was two stories up and a free spot opened up on the railing. So I jumped on the railing. Two buddies were sitting next to me. I had my feet wrapped between the spindles to keep my balance. They snapped and I went back straight down, landed on my head like a dart and was instantly paralyzed. So next thing I remember was waking up in the hospital. Uh, I had a doctor hovering over me and he was doing a pinprick test all along my body to find out where I had sensation and where there was actual function going on. Um, we found out that there was very little and he said that it was actually getting worse over time. So I've had two total surgeries. I had one where they went in the front and readjusted my spine and put in a plate with screws. My second surgery, they went in through the back of my neck to fuse C4, 5, and 6 together um, using my hip bone and also installing two more plates with six more screws. I was moved over to McGee Rehabilitation uh, where that's where I would start my long journey of recovery. Up to that point, I hadn't had any, any recovery, nothing came back, no sensation, and that was something new to me. That was, that was extremely tough. My prognosis was that I would never walk again, let alone even sit up in bed. It's something I wasn't willing to accept. After about three, four weeks, I finally had the first little bit of recovery coming back. So once that started, I knew there was something in there. There was a way to get back, there was a way to fight back, and that's where the journey started. I knew graduation was coming up in a few months, and I set a goal in my mind that I wanted to walk on stage. So I fought extremely hard. Graduation day came, and I was able to take my steps and walk up the road to get my degree. It hasn't been an easy road. It's something I live with every single day, but it's a mindset. You have to make a decision. You are either going to give it your best, make the best of what you have. It doesn't mean you have to have the mindset, hey, I'm done, hang me up to dry. Looking back at the last 18 years, it's really just come down to finding balance in life in every aspect of the word. My goal here, just to give back, help anybody who needs something, motivate, inspire, push you to the next level. It's, it's not easy, but the journey continues.